Welcome to the Pionk ECAF, a revolutionary system for continuous peripheral nerve blockade that makes inserting an indwelling nerve catheter as easy as a single shot technique. The components of the ECAF are as shown. You'll firstly see the green hub of the indwelling sheath, which will come attached to the needle. The needle is the Sonoplex needle with cornerstone technology, ensuring that you get optimum visualization under ultrasound. On the distal one centimeter marking of the needle, you will notice a secondary fluid outlet. The e cath itself, which is inserted into the sheath, has firstly a proximal opening at the one centimeter marking, and a singular end exit. Open your packaging onto a sterile environment and check all of the products. The needle and sheath are packaged pre-assembled. You will notice that the needle is the conventional Pionk Sonoplex needle with cornerstone technology. The E catheter, the filter, the fix along and a nerve block identification label. Before inserting the ECAF, it is important to set up the system appropriately. This will ensure that you get maximum visibility from the needle when it's inserted into the patient. Withdraw the needle from the outer sheath, the component with the green hub, until about one centimetre is left inside the sheath. Slowly inject fluid so the needle and the sheath are primed. You will see that the one centimetre exit point on the needle will help to prime the cornerstones. Advance the needle completely back into the sheath so it's back into its original configuration. Prime the e cath itself. Again, you will see fluid exiting from the proximal and the distal points of the catheter. Next, prime the filter to ensure that all air is removed. If you choose to use the filter, attach the filter to the catheter in preparation, ensuring that all the lure lock connections are tightly assembled. It's important to hold both the green sheath and the needle together when performing the block. Ensure that the wire from the needle is next to the patient's skin. This will give you optimum visibility of the needle tip. When performing the block, hold the two components together. When you're withdrawing your needle, it's important that the sheath and the needle are held together, otherwise they will separate. Once you are satisfied with the final position of your needle and you've correctly aspirated and identified your position, you can remove the needle from the sheath. The easiest way to do this is using your thumb and finger to pop the needle out of the sheath the intrinsic tissue tone will hold onto the sheath and ensure that you get very little movement as the needle is removed from the sheath. After removing the needle, advance the e-calf into the outer sheath and ensure that the lure lock is correctly tightened. Finally, aspirate and inject to ensure correct placement of the catheter in the sheath under ultrasound confirmation.
Some newer versions of the E catheter contain the fix clip which connects the outer sheath and the sonoplex needle together. In order to remove the needle from the sheath, you must twist the needle 90 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise before it will detach as demonstrated. If you choose not to use the fixed clip, you can easily detach this from the needle and sheath as shown. Once happy with the final position of your catheter, fix it into place. Alternative ways of fixing the catheter into place are to suture it to the patient's skin using the two suture holes on the wings of the sheath. Alternatively, you may fix the catheter into place using steri-strips A conventional tegaderm dressing over the top, ensuring that the entry point is visible. Use the fix along system to fix the filter into place. My preferred method is to put a secondary tegaderm over the coil of the infusion line. Finally, attach the nerve block identification label to the catheter. An alternative fixation device is the Pionk fixer calf. Firstly, insert the fixer calf beneath the e catheter. Remove the front paper flaps and stick down the fixer calf. Carefully lift the rear, remove the paper flap and stick down the rear of the fixer calf. Peel off the center strip and apply the wings of the e catheter to the fixer calf. Finally, remove the top covering paper and attach over the top of the fixer calf, ensuring that the front patch covers the insertion point on the E catheter. You may apply a tegaderm dressing over the top. This video shows the insertion of a supraclavicular brachial plexus catheter using the Pionk ECath system. For a single shot nerve block, we use the lateral to medial approach that you're probably familiar with, but for a catheter, we use a medial to lateral insertion as demonstrated here. We find it less prone to dislodge with patient movement. This is an aseptic technique and in this case, we've used a less restrictive drape just for the purpose of videoing. We start with local anaesthetic infiltration of the skin. In the ultrasound image, you can clearly see the subclavian artery sitting on the first rib with the pleura visible below. Note the shallow depth. The needle is in is approaching from the left of the image across the top of the artery into the brachial plexus sheath. Hydrodissection is used to confirm the position and spread of local anaesthetic and the tip is repositioned to an ideal site within the sheath. The ECAT system makes the actual catheter insertion a very simple process. We can maintain the ultrasound image while the needle is withdrawn, the catheter is inserted and Lua locked in place and the position is checked with a further local anaesthetic bolus.
if possible, we like to feed the catheter further in at this stage. And the catheter tip is soft for this purpose. And we believe it helps avoid dislodgement. The catheter is then secured in the usual fashion using tissue adhesive, stereostrips and tegaderm as here or using Pyunk's own fixation device, the fixer cath and we've made a separate video of that to show you how that works.